Let's learn the fuzzy selector use case. Okay, I hope you guys found yesterday's video very helpful. So let's get started and learn this fuzzy selector. How do I use it? Okay. Now for this, I'm taking this as an example where whatever customer types the due date, it's going to open that particular invoice. Okay. So I have already created a workflow. I'm going to redesign it for you just to learn how it works. So let me run and show you how this is going to function. Then we are going to design that. Okay. So what is happening here? It should prompt me to select the file name. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to enter the due date in my own way. Okay. So I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to enter as it is written. I want to write it in my own way. For example, I want to open 28, the first one slash zero forward slash I'm using. Okay. There on the screen, you have the hyphen. I'm using the forward slash and then I'm saying 2020. Let's say if I'm writing something like this or in my own way or providing a space, whatever I'm doing, right? that way that time your selectors will not function right how do you uh, ensure that your selector works even though customer has typed in his own way so for that we'll be using the fuzzy selectors so let me click on okay and let's see it should click on that have you seen it just you know, slow it down you will be able to see it so there it has clicked and opened the particular invoice for me so let's see how to design this workflow okay using the fuzzy selector now uh, this is the rpa challenge uh, uh, website okay uh, so how did i come to this let me tell you how did you launch that particular page so you go to rpachallenge.com and here you have something called invoice extraction okay click on that and you will see this particular page all right so here let's see how to design this so there are a lot of challenges okay a lot of challenges one of the challenges is uh, uh, you are not clicking on this selector for example if i say click here then it is quite easy but there is no clickable button here you have the clickable button on the right hand side of the table right so this makes it more more complicated and challenging so let's see how to achieve this all right for that let's again begin for everything as we do from the beginning so the first thing is we will use an input dialog box okay so here in the input dialog box i'm going to ask enter the due date or rip, yeah whatever your due date okay so he's going to enter the due date according to that it's going to open up so here the in the output control plus k i will say user input whatever your variable will contain that particular value from the customer all right once that is done the next thing i want to work is click on it right so i'm going to use a attach window okay attach window uh, or attach sorry attach browser activity and here I am going to click on indicate browser on screen and I am going to highlight that particular browser. So, you know, and here I will be using the partial selector because I am not going to switch the window. I am going to constantly work on the same particular window. All right. So, here the usage of partial selector. So, now what is the next thing you want? You want to retrieve the row number. Let's say custom is saying 2907-2020. So, the row number is, uh, so this is the first row. And this is the second row. So row number is second row. So as per the second row, it's going to click here. So if it's saying 1710, then it's one, two, three, fourth row. Then as per the fourth row, it should click click on this one, right? So how to do that? So for that, I'll be using an activity called get attribute activity. Okay. Here in the get attribute activity, what you do? Click on indicate element and select one of the item from the due date. Any one item doesn't matter. So once you have selected this try to open this in a ui explorer okay what we wanted to experiment i'm going to tell you so the moment he selects that right so i've clicked on ui explorer so what is happening i clicked on the first data so the first data was 2907 right so similar way what i'm going to do i'm going to first hide you know put a check box in the a name so it receives 2907 2020 okay but again customer can enter his own value okay for that what you do highlight this particular value within the single quote and right click and hit on choose variable and i'm going to select the user input whatever is entering so that way it becomes dynamic 
all right okay this part is done now the next part okay this part is done now the next part we have to look at is table row so whatever i am selecting it has a table row if i am selecting below that it will become 3 below that it will become 4 like okay so this particular table row data i want the column remains the same because in the third column just the row will be some something different depending on the user input so okay so for that what i am going to do there's a trick okay this is done click on okay you are done with this here what you do you have to select that attribute called table row so generally you may not find the table row in the attribute section here so what you do you exactly type the way it is written so double quote quote and say table row okay the, exactly the way it was written i am going to type it so by that by by typing table row it's going to get the attribute value so the attribute value is 2 3 depending on the file name so that attribute value should get stored in a variable let's say table row i'm creating another variable called table row so this is going to contain that attribute value done all right now the next thing what i'm going to do i want to click okay i want to click it so where would i like to click so indicate let's say i'm selecting the first one i should click here right so you simply select that again what you do go to the selector of this click activity and open that in ui explorer okay we have to make it dynamic all right so i have opened that in ui explorer just a second it's opening up okay all right so now what i'm going to do the place it is clicking it has a table row called two right instead of two what i'm going to do this index should come from the previous get attribute this one variable row so i'm going to highlight it is quite tricky you have to highlight only the two okay not the single quote that's where you will get this option so choose variable and here i'll be using the table row attribute okay table row so that way it is going to provide the value bar. all right so that way my selection becoming dynamic okay so let's first test it if it is working or not then we will go further then we will make it fuzzy selector okay so let me first run it and let me keep this one and the background all right then the user input prompt should come all right it has come let's say i'm going to enter let's say this value 5 8 20 20 whatever you need okay so you highlight that and paste so done so it should click here now okay click on okay let's see you saw that it is clicking that particular file now here the uh, another challenge was the second challenge was whatever customer times in whatever format he types it should work okay for that again go back to your studio here what i want whatever format he types correct so here i will go to the get attribute activity open the selector so here the user input is there right so the user input could be any format now it should be the exact format right so let me make it to any format for that i'll be using the technique called ui path fuzzy selector technique okay so let let me show you there is a syntax you guys have to make a note i hope you have already seen the previous video then you must be knowing it if not just get started and learn it so the first thing is i have to type matching colon aa name active accessibility name equals to here in single quote i have to write f u z z y okay so this is the format and then i am going to give a space and type fuzzy level colon a a name equals to i have to provide a value so let's say i am giving 0 0.2 okay again in single quote so what is this 0 0.2 means 0 0.2 means you want uh, let's say whatever is typing you want 100 percent match you want 50 percent match you want 20 percent match so let's say i am saying 0 0.2 means 20 percent match so even though he's typing 20 percent correct it will pick that if i'm saying 0 0.5 means it should be 50 percent at least at least minimum 50 percent match it should be right so let's say i'm keeping it very minimum so this value goes from 0 0.1 till 1 maximum is 1 and the minimum is 0 0.1 so i'm keeping a 0 0.2 so here let me click on save all right so if something is wrong in while you are writing then if you save it it will not come over here that means something you have written wrong so be very very careful in the spellings and everything then click on okay all right all right so i have done that so let's do a test 
and this time I'm going to type in my own way okay so this is the browser where it's supposed to work <coughs> so now the user input has come so here let's say 7 10 22 I want to type so here what I'm going to say 17 space 10 simply I'm saying I'm not putting any other value let's see if it is working or not so it's supposed to click here okay 17 10 or 17 dash 10 or hyphen 10 whatever you want to do okay depending on the uses so it's supposed to did you see that it clicked on it wonderful so that makes so so easy right so let me run it once again let's try to type it in some other format let's see it okay so let's say i'm going to say 610 right so i'm going to say instead of writing 06 i'll simply say 06 and then i'm going to say 10 okay in my own format so it's supposed to click here let's see do you see that wonderful so this is how you are making your entire project very very dynamic so i hope uh, this must have helped you uh, and i'm i'm hoping that you guys are liking our videos that you're watching um, so that it reaches to maximum people uh, on youtube uh, please do go through our uh, you know videos and the playlist that we have created we have organized everything so that you get benefited you can you know hundreds of videos that we have got okay maximum videos i would say that we have got on uh, youtube channel for ui path so please do subscribe to our channel please do go to the playlist try to pick your own topic and start learning okay each each has so many different videos so please go through them and you will be an expert for sure thank you so much guys uh, for continuing with uipath expo hub thank you for all your support you guys have a great day thank you bye bye